All right, good morning. Today we are going to be working through how to create our very own spinners and change the probability so that we can design a carnival game that really showcases what the chances are for how we can win and so how we can kind of understand how fractions and probability work together. So it's so much fun to build this game. Um, and we're going to start out with someone else's project just be, to save us some time. So thanks to Zorkit for the original project spinner. And as you can see, I just clicked remix on that project. And this is where I've started. So once I was in here, I've deleted a whole bunch of his code or their code. I don't know, male or female, does not matter. Um, and we see that we've got the sprite one. When the flag is clicked, it will start at 90 degrees. So it starts straight up and down, pointing at the blue. When we click the sprite, it turns five degrees randomly an amount of times between 200 and 275 times. Then it turns randomly between 75 and 150 times, two and a half degrees. It slows down. Um, and what, so I can show you what that looks like um, by clicking on it. So we can see that it's spinning and then it'll slow down. If you're looking to make an addition to that and just make the spin a little bit smoother, um, if you duplicate this comment and put it underneath, we can actually have it spin between maybe 25 and 50 times at one degree. And actually I would lower all of these to 150 to 220. And this can be 60 to 30. And now it might just go a little bit faster. And now when I click on it, it spins, 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 spins. So remember, if you change the, the amount of degrees you spin, it will then go faster. If you lower the amount of degrees, and now ours really slows down and stops. Perfect. So this is how we've got a nice, um, This now we've got a spinner and it works. So let's talk about editing that spinner. So click on your sprite, click on costumes, and now we can actually change some of the colors of the spinner and talk about the percentages that go with it. So right now the spinner is broken up into eight sections. If four out of the eight sections were one color, well, they would have a 50% chance of getting that, spinning that color. But what we are talking about now is eight. So we see that two eights are red, two eights are blue, two eights are green, etc. Two out of eight is the same as saying one quarter, right? If I put them together, one quarter of this whole circle is a certain color. So, but that to me seems too easy. I'd like to split it up a little. So let's start changing some of the colors and you actually use this fill button to do that. So when we are in fill, you can change the saturation and you can pick any color you want in the world. So I'm going to pick, that one's going to be a nice pink. So the next thing we did see now is I've made all mine different colors and we have different chances of different, of getting different colors now. It's all very, very different, um, which is awesome. So now I want to just talk about this. So what we did is we had eighths and then I split an eighth in half. So when you split a fraction in half, the denominator actually gets bigger. So it's half of, so you double eight. So it's actually a sixteenth. So it takes up one sixteenth of the whole section. Now, if I know that it's 12 and a half percent, to spin an eighth, well, to spin a sixteenth would be half of that. So half of 12 and a half is a 6.25% chance of getting that one. So now I've got different colors and I've got my spinner. We are ready to go. So we've jumped back into the code here. We've got a bunch of different colors. We've got a different bunch of different um, numbers. Now here's what we are going to be doing is now we're going to look at the code that they've given us for sprite number two, which is our arrow that points at it. And there's a few things we actually want to change here. Um, Here's what we need. We don't care if it touches black. I'm going to be removing if it touches black. Actually, we can, okay. So here's what we need to do. We need to make sure we have every color and decide what's going to happen when you get to every color. So this is where we kind of get to make the choices. So how many different colors do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm gonna need nine of these total. So I'm gonna duplicate that whole block, meaning I have eight which is nice and easy. Grab one off the bottom, duplicate that one. Oh. All right, and we can also remove, so I've got nine blocks. If we're touching this, then this happens. Great, I'm gonna delete all the stop the scripts because we actually don't want the script to stop when it's done. Perfect. And now we can see, we also see this other button called set results. So that's going to be your variable to tell you what your answer is. But what the problem is with this code is that it tells uh, letters and a number. And we just want this to be numbers. So what do you want the people to get 
when they get your when they spin each color. So for me, let's make sure all the colors work first. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start here and work my way all the way around. So I'm gonna finish off with that light yellow. So here's what you do. You click on the when, if, touching color, and then you click on your paint dropper. You pick the color that it's gonna to touch, and then you're good to go. So I'll show that one more time. So I go to my next color, I pick this, I pick my paint dropper, I pick blue, and there we go, I'm on to my next one. All right, so now we've gone through each thing, each of our different colors, and we know that when it touches it, it's going to do that. And now we just need to change what our results are. So if I touch this purple one, I'm going to get $1. If I touch the light blue one, $2. Um, this one's going to be $3, then $5. Now these are my crazy ones. One of these ones is going to be you win $50, because it's a tiny little section, remember only about 6%. Uh, and then after $50, I'm going to go $0. You go, you lose all your money for that one. And then we're going to do another $2, another $3, and another $1. Perfect. So now I've kind of created my thing. And what you can actually have it do, if you would like, is you can have it say something. So it can tell you what your results are at the end. So it'll tell you what your results are. So all you're going to do to make it say what you get is you say... And this is so cool how you can connect these. You've won, so you're actually going to join two sentences. You're going to join, say, you've won, and then I do the dollar sign. Nothing after it because in this circle, we can actually go to our variable and change it to our results. So now it says, you've won a certain amount of money. So let's test it out. Let's see how it works. Oh, shoot. There we go. So it's, remember, we have it spin, and then it slows down step one, slows down step two. You've won $3. So that's how we can design a spinner that tells us how much we've made. Um, we're going to make that video one, and then video two, we'll kind of walk through the next step of the process.